there, I'm Mina, and welcome to my garden. This is my happy place, alive with an ever-changing mix of veggies and fruit trees, living soil, and tons of flowers. My passion is helping people everywhere create their own gardens and learn how to grow an abundance of food at home. If you set your space up to win, gardening can become a meaningful rhythm of your life, and I'm here to help you get started. Welcome to the garden, my friends. It is good to have you here because I feel like in this space, we can just get inspired and learn together. If you've tried to garden before and it just hasn't really worked, we're about to talk about the basics that you can maybe make adjustments so that this season you can have a more successful experience. And if you've never gardened before, it is my personal mission to help you start. <laughs> and there are some things that if you get right from the beginning, you'll just love it more. You'll just have a better time because you'll actually get the food from the plants that you plant. So there's a few basics. Number one, thing to consider when you're starting a garden is location. So we're here in the big open farm um, and we picked a big sunny spot because you need at least six but better is eight hours of direct sunlight on the place where you want to plant your garden. If you want to grow the bigger things like tomatoes and peppers and eggplants and zucchinis, those plants need a lot of sunlight to make the energy to produce those crops. Um, other things like greens and herbs can be in part shade, which is fine, but just kind of keep that in mind when you're looking around your yard. The other part of location is water access. So if you're not setting up an automatic irrigation system, which I'll also teach you how to do, you need close access to a spigot or a sink to get the water into your good old fashioned watering can to water every single day, unless it rains. So when you're thinking about where you wanna put your garden, put it somewhere that you love to see. Just look out your window that you stare out every single day and say, okay, is this a spot that I'm gonna see a lot, that I'm gonna to love to go out to, that I'll remember to go pick the food that I'm growing? If you tuck the garden on the side of your house, you will probably forget about it and it will probably go by the wayside. So put it somewhere that you love. Okay, next is raised beds. I choose to build raised beds because here in South Florida, our sand is white sugar sand, like beach sand. So our pine trees grow beautifully in it because that's what's native to here. But the little veggies that we're growing, those annual crops need that rich compost soil. So when I build raised beds, I have 100% control to get good soil quality. So I get it delivered from an organic source. He brings a huge dump truck and puts it here and I can put it in all the different raised beds every season to top it off. So if you go to your local nursery, that is the best resource that you can have. And it's usually free to go and ask the people that work there, find a friendly face and say, hey, I'm starting a vegetable garden and I don't exactly know what to get from my soil. Can you help me? Just ask, ask, ask. Their advice will be gold for your garden. So the best thing you can do is get bulk if you can. If you have a pickup truck or you can borrow one from a friend or rent one for like two hours, then getting bulk is gonna be much more affordable. Uh, if you have to get bags, which is totally fine, that's what I'm doing for this little raised bed that we're about to build together, is okay, so I went to our local nursery and said, hey, what do you have in smaller amounts that's also really, really good quality? So their expertise is amazing. So raised beds are the way to go if you want to make sure that you're starting at 100%. The last little hack that I have for you is hardware. So these uh, L angle brackets that I discovered recently. These have been so amazing to build gardens with because you can put them in the corner of two boards and use a few one and a half inch screws and they're so easy to use. So this is my hack. You can go to your local hardware store and find L brackets that look exactly like this and that's gonna make your construction process a lot easier. I'm what they call mildly handy. Joking, I got this. To build a raised garden bed, it's always the same steps. We have tools to cut the lumber here on the farm, but a quick tip is that where you get your lumber might cut it for you, even if it's a dollar or two per cut. Makes your life a little easier once you're in your space. So then we line everything up and put our brackets in the corners. 
These brackets you can get at most hardware stores and you want them to be about as long as the wood that you're working with to completely secure everything at the corners. Next, layer cardboard really thick in the bottom of your raised bed. This will suffocate any weeds from coming up through your soil and then fill your bed with soil all the way to the top. Last is planting, and you plant whatever you eat the most of. River's favorite veggie is broccoli, so these are six little broccoli plants that she's gonna water and tend to, and hopefully we'll get a big ol' harvest sometime soon. We wanna be connected to our food, and I get emails and messages on Instagram almost every single day from other people that wanna do this too. Because gardening used to be a generational knowledge that was passed down over time, and these days we have to seek out this type of learning to be able to grow our own food. My business is called The Dirt Academy, and this is my goal, is to help as many people learn to grow food at home. I have both free resources and a full online course that teach all of these methods in much, much more depth. So Brendan and I want our farm and the future generations of our family to have confidence in their ability to grow their own food at home, and maybe you do too. Remember, gardening is for everybody. Just start with the space you have. Glad you're here to learn alongside us. Happy growing.